us, first of all, let's hear about the Connected campaign from um, Head of School. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you to my able assistant here, Bonnie Zacherly, as well, who's also um, an artist, which you will see. So I know this is not what you were expecting this morning during announcements, but as a former teacher and a head of school, I'm going to give you a little quiz. First of all, can you raise your hand if you were a parishioner in 1982? I'm not trying to age anybody, I promise. Look around. Thank you. Thanks to each of you. Do you know what you did? Any ideas? Collectively, you and others began St. James Preschool. The idea to start the preschool did not come from a group outside of these walls. It came from a rector and parishioners. Parishioners who became a director, who became teachers, who wrote curriculum, asked their friends to join them in this endeavor, and ultimately filled the classrooms with children. This church has remained the backbone of the school, and the church started this school, and we thank you for creating us, for supporting us, and ultimately giving us room to grow. Over the last few weeks, you've heard from speakers, such as 90, about the benefits of the capital campaign. And when you view our student speak video next week from the weekly email, you'll hear what our students are most excited about. A new defined entrance, bright and airy classrooms, more space to move around in. And if we asked our parents, I think they would say a more safe and efficient arrival and dismissal. And probably we all would say, we're looking forward to more parking. Our new and improved five classrooms will house our first through fifth grade, and our new entrance will house the elevator that will benefit all three floors for our community. Did you know when the education wing was built 50 years ago, there were 309 parishioners. Today, there are 898 people who call St. James home. And over 400 of them had some sort of tie to the school. We've had a fifth grade for the past three years, and we know our enrollment will begin to level off and remain steady. But the numbers for the church can continue to grow. We're truly a benefit to one another. Back to our quiz, we have a quick trick question for you. Edison, 64,827 plus 40,000. What does that equal? I'm not trying to put you on the spot. We'll show you. The first answer, of course, is 104,827. But the answer we want you to know is this number represents the total amount that the school paid to the church last year, both in way of tithe and shared cost. Quiz question number two, what is 123 plus 86? The quick answer is 209. But the number also represents the number of preschoolers and elementary students who experience Episcopal traditions daily. And now a word problem. I did share with the eight o'clock, I was an English teacher, not a math teacher. So take this with a grain of salt. But if nine fifth graders each complete a service project before they graduate, and the school and church jointly sponsor monthly service projects throughout the school year, how many organizations can we ultimately serve? Is it greater than 17, equal to 17, or less than 17? <laughs> the, uh, the answer is equal to 17, but as another trick question, there are truly many more ways that our students are emerging as leaders, serving the greater community that aren't even figured into this equation. So finally, last question. Raise your hand if you know what April 2nd is. Terrific. April 2nd is Pledge Day for our Connected campaign. We're about to make history again on April 2nd. We already know the capital campaign will be the largest and most successful in the history of St. James. It will touch future generations of the church and school for years to come. So thank you, St. James. Thank you to the parishioners who took a leap of faith in 1982, and thank Thank you to all of you who have joined this church in the last 35 years. We are now ready to become part of history in the making again. Thank you for fostering a home that has helped to create students who truly love learning, ones with compassion, and a belief in service beyond self, and ones who are our future of our church in this community. Thank you. Thank you, Stacy and Bonnie.